Okay, our next section here on uh, modern physics is still on Compton scattering, but what we're going to do now is uh, the following. Again, remember that uh, we had an incoming photon of a very high energy. Let's say the incoming photon has a wavelength of uh, 0.02 nanometers, which means that this would be an X-ray photon. It hits an electron, it goes scattering off at some angle. Let's say the angle is 45 degrees, and so the electron will then get pushed off to the side at some velocity. And let's say this time we're supposed to find the velocity of the electron. And of course that velocity comes from the kinetic energy imparted on the electron from the collision. Whatever energy the photon had initially, we subtract from that the energy it has after it collides off the electron. The difference between those two energies must be the energy given to the electron. So we can say then that the energy of the electron is equal to the original energy of the photon minus the final energy of the photon. Um, and how do we find the energy of the photon? Well, the energy of the photon is equal to h times the original frequency minus h times the final frequency. And of course, the frequency can be written as c over lambda, so this can be written as h c over the original lambda minus h c over the final lambda. And of course, we have the final lambda as lambda prime in our equation. Okay, so all we have to do is find the final wavelength, plug in the initial wavelength here, that will give us the difference in the energies, that will be the energy given to the electron. Okay, so we see the, uh, the strategy here. So next we're going to solve for lambda prime. So lambda prime is equal to, when we move this across, lambda initial plus h over mc times 1 minus the cosine of phi. Plug in the numbers that we have. Uh, this here would be equal to 2 times 10 to the minus 11 meters plus h, which is 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds divided by the mass of an electron, 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms, and we multiply that times the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, and then we multiply that times 1 minus the cosine of 45 degrees, which of course is 0.707. Okay, so that means the new wavelength of the electron is equal to 2 times 10 to the minus 11 meters plus change and so that would be uh, 7.10 times 10 to the minus 13 meters so if we add those two together what do we get so it'd be 2.071 times 10 to the minus 11 meters all right, so that's the new wavelength of the, elect of the photon after it scatters off the electron. Here's the old wavelength. That means it's lost some energy. And we can calculate the difference in the energy now that we know the initial wavelength and the final wavelength using that equation right there. So that's going to be equal to, uh, let's uh, factor out an hc. hc times 1 over lambda initial minus 1 over lambda final. Okay, so Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds. Speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Times 1 over the original wavelength, which is 2 times 10 to the minus 11 meters. Minus 1 over the final wavelength, which is right there, 2.071 times 10 to the minus 11 meters and that will give us a change in the energy of the photon, which means that's the energy imparted on the electron. All right. So 1 divided by 2 e to 11 minus, minus 1 divided by 2.071 e to the 11 minus equals, ah, that's a lot better. Then we multiply the times 3 e to the 8 and times 6.626 e to the 34 minus. And here we go. So the difference in the energy is 3.407 times 10 to the minus 16 joules. That's the change in the energy, and that would be the energy given, of course, to the electron. Now, that would be kinetic energy. So the change in the energy in the photons equals to the kinetic energy of the electron, which is equal to 1 half mv squared. And ultimately, we're trying to find the velocity of this electron. So using that energy, let's find the velocity. So the velocity is equal to the square root 
of two times the kinetic energy divided by the mass of the electron. So the square root of two times the kinetic energy that we just found, which is 3.407 times 10 to the minus 16 joules, and divide the whole thing by the mass of an electron, 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. Okay, so divide by 9.11 e to the 31 minus equals, and then times times 2 equals, and now we take the square root of that, and there you go. So it's equal to 2.74 times 10 to the 7th meters per second. Wow, that's quite fast because that's almost 10% of the speed of light because speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. However, since it's less than 10%, we can assume that to be somewhat non-relativistic. And so this electron, having been hit by a photon of this wavelength, would have gained a speed of almost 10% of the speed of light after that photon scattered off of it with an angle of 45 degrees. And that's how you use the Compton scattering to figure out the velocity of an electron that's been hit by a high-energy photon. Okay.